Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I'm back to share a layout with you, a mood board inspired layout for the Hip Kit Club. Now this mood board was absolutely gorgeous. It had florals, confetti, all sorts of yummy things and I'm super excited because I get to use all the yummy scrummy bits and pieces out of the Hip Kit Club April kits. It's finally arrived. It's finally on my doorstep and this is the first layout that I um, am making with them. It's full of beautiful crepe paper. Oh, Maggie Holmes' Sweet Story, the Summer Market Collection. Um, what else? Oh, that's Cartabella. Um, and a, probably a little dash of the Bloom Street by Paige Evans. Um, it has some beautiful watercolour inks in it that you'll see me use here in a second. And yeah, full of colour. But I was challenged by the team to create a mood board inspired layout and the theme being Mother's Day, so our mum. So I've got this beautiful photo of my mum who was giving my puppy a nice little cuddle um, on a weekend away that we went, we all went away as a family and I wandered down to the cabin and we captured this beautiful photo of my mum giving my little puppy Elsa a snuggle. Look, I, I stuffed that bit up, didn't put that on properly. <laughs> So I've done some fussy cutting here. I've used some of the Cartabella papers to fussy cut those gorgeous little flowers. And I've got a little bit of ephemera there and that's from the Sweet Story collection. And I've just, I, I'm scrapbooking today in a 9 by 12 inch format. Uh, that's my 2020 album size while I'm documenting my 2020 year is in 9 by 12. So you're going to see a few of those layouts coming coming your way if you're you know if you if you are a subs regular subscriber um, and I've also picked up the Maggie Home Sweet Story cardstock stickers there and add, going to add a few of those elements uh, al along the way so here you go so I've just mounted that and I'm using some white cardstock and I've just used my sewing machine just to add a little bit of stitching around the edge I stitch with a rather long stitch length on my machine it's 4.5 and that I find um, is a bit more gentle on your cardstock having those bigger stitches along the way um, is I found really make sure that it's not damaging your cardstock or, or struggling to move through your cardstock. I've also one little tip also when you're using your sewing machine on paper is that when you get to your corners, make sure your needle is down and then you turn your page while the needle is in and continue to um, sew straight. That gives that nice sharp corner. If you go around it and sort of try and stop and then move your page while the needle's up in the air it doesn't give that nice sharp corner with that turn so that's my little sewing tip not I'm, I'm new to sewing on my pages this is not something I do often so I'm learning these things but I'm happy to share what I learn um, if you're interested so here I am I've just used one of the watercolors that came in the color kit and I've just added a little bit of watered down white acrylic paint that I usually just use for a few splatters on the end of my lay when I'm completing my layouts but I've just added a little bit of that which made that um, that pink a really light pastel pink and it give it gave me the power to use it in a bit more of an acrylic sense not a watercolor sense which in when I'm saying that what I mean is that if I add a little bit of acrylic paint it tends to sit on top of the page not absorb into the page as easily whereas watercolor because it's very it's water based it will soak into the cardstock so I haven't gessoed this page and just those little flicks um, and that little bit of blending with that mixed mixed uh, watercolor slash acrylic paint combo there it's my my cardstock is held up fine so now we get on to the embellishing part I've just added a little white border around my photo just to help it sort of stand out and jump off the page a little bit and um, as you can see I'm just adding some foam tape there now the reason why I put the foam tape just in the center is I knew that I was going to be tucking in and under and on top all my florals that you have there and all my little embellishments as you can see I haven't placed it out I'm just going to be sticking and plonking 
and just sort of building my floral cluster as I sort of see fit. There's that many floral elements there that I fussy cut. I knew that it would all come together and all look pretty. I was just making sure that I was sort of spreading out the bigger elements and um, not clustering all those together. So some big elements in some sections and then some smaller flowers in other sections. And I'm leaving all the little darker pink elements to last because I want them to sit sort of on top just to help that background tie in really well. If I put them underneath and tuck them away, you would tend to lose them a little bit and that would not that would sort of blend into my background as opposed to help my background sort of stand off and incorporate that pink from the back into the front if that makes sense so as you can see I'm just sort of putting them where I see fit but as, and and by looking at what I'm doing now you can see where those pinks has now tied that background in in there I hope I hope I'm making sense. So yeah, so I'm just having fun. I'm just sticking all these little beautiful fussy cut elements out. The fussy cutting did take me some time. I was thankful that I'm watching a TV series called The Last Kingdom on Netflix. So I was sort of doing a binge watch while I was fussy cutting madly away. And yeah, my, my line seemed quite good. I didn't chop any too many leaves off <laughs> in all that Viking action. <laughs> um, so yeah the other little thing in the mood book was had a, some little confetti things so I cut out some extra little tiny flowers and I've just sprinkled them around uh, just to give that effect of um, conf that confetti does and my splatters have also um, given that that effect as well so as you can see just a bit of acrylic paint on that mixed media background and those florals you see how it's sort of coming together and really building around that photo of my mum. I also fussy cut some sweet little teal but birdies there. And when we were away at this weekend, all the birds would come and sit on the railings and sit on the table and mum and dad were feeding them biscuits and things like that. So when I saw those little birdies, I thought they'd have to go on the layout somewhere because that was a perfect little thing to kind of capture the true moment that that where this photo was captured here I am now thinking where that sweet bow is from uh, crepe paper there and I'm just going to sit that in the middle and then I've here I am I'm at the point where I I didn't plan out further than this so this is where the fun kind of begins I I start you know just looking at things looking around at things seeing what else I can put on my layout and just having that fun in that sort of embellishment frame frame there now I've got this gorgeous little butterfly but he's a sticker and I wanted his little wings to pop up so I needed him to be ephemera not a sticker so as you can see I've sort of disappeared here at the point and I've run up the hallway and pulled out the Johnston Johnson's baby powder and I'm just applying a little bit of baby powder to the back of the sticker and all of a sudden I've got some ephemera because it's no longer adhesive so if you're if you're like me and sometimes don't want to super stick things down or ha and add a bit of dimension to your layouts, one way of in turning your stickers into ephemera is just by adding a little bit of talcum powder behind the backs of whatever it is and all of a sudden that adhesive is gone but you haven't had to mount it on anything, you haven't had to, you know, try and use heaps of foam behind it, a little bit of see what I'm just doing there a little bit of powder behind there and all of a sudden it's a flat kind of object so there you go you're like wondering why is she putting adhesive on the back there but I just really wanted it to be a little bit dimensional and not stuck flat um, you're probably thinking I'm being a bit picky I sound like I'm being a bit picky <laughs> do you think I'm being picky <laughs> So here I am just finishing off with some cute little embellishments, some stars and stickers, and I hope that you like this layout. And um, and yeah, uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is my style and this is sort of what I'm doing in 2020, 9 by 12. I'm incorporating layouts and pocket style pages into my Project Life album for 2020, which I'm, I'll, I'll do a flick through in the next probably month or so when I finalized the first few months of the year and yeah so this is my style if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section I love reading comments and I love that um, 
I've got lots of lovely regular ladies who just always say such nice things about my layout so it really really warms my heart so if you're new welcome I hope that you'll consider being a subscriber and like it and for my existing ladies thank you for being here thank you for supporting me and if um, you feel inclined to share this layout just click the share button and send it off to your favorite scrappy girls group or your friends um, and yeah help me build my little channel all right guys there you have it there's my layout all finished looking pretty and given mother's day is only a couple of days away it feels nice just to sit there and delight in my beautiful mum all right guys take care happy scrapping bye Thank you.